Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing a monster GPU. And I don't mean a monster GPU like the 3080 Ti was. I mean the exact opposite of that. <laughs> So what we have right here is a 10-year-old platform, FX8350, 16 gigabytes of DDR3, and the mighty Radeon... Oh, wait, it actually sounds really good. Eh, never mind. <laughs> It sucks at that too! But yes, the ATI Radeon 3000 in this video is integrated in the ASUS M5A7BLM-USB3. And I had a very similar motherboard, but from Gigabyte, it was also a 78LM3 USB 3, but whatever. <laughs> and back in 2016, when the Pascal cards came out, GTX 1060 in particular, I really wanted that card or the RX 480, but none of them were in stock. And because they weren't available at release for about a month or so, and I had sold my GTX 760 at the time, I was stuck with this GPU. The, it was terrible, guys. Let me tell you, I couldn't play CSGO. I had to go to Counter-Strike Source to have a little bit of fun and Team Fortress 2. And I just wanted to play like Dota 2, for example. Dota 2! <laughs> and I couldn't do it. So we're in it for a world of pain today, my friends. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here and choosing this video to watch. But it's probably gonna suck. Let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> And it is desktop time, ATI Radeon 3000 graphics are showing there in MSI Afterburner as well as Tech Power Up GPU Z. You can check out all of its specs right here, by the way. It has 256 megabytes of DDR2 VRAM, uh, which is interesting. I didn't really know that it used dedicated DDR2 for it. I thought it was going to utilize some of the RAM, which is DDR3 in this system. And look at that bandwidth, by the way, 3.2 gigabytes per second. That's so low, guys. <laughs> and first up is Among Us, because, well, I want to start light here in this one. <laughs> We're playing at the 1080p resolution. It actually shows there. Interesting. Screen shake is on, so it's very intensive. Lord War... Oh, damn it. I thought it was warm. 30 FPS. Are you actually kidding me? It's barely above 30 frames, guys. What the hell? This is so bad. <laughs> Okay, let's let's go with unicorn guy over here or gal because it's pink. Well, guys can be pink too. Uh, anyway, <laughs> what should we do? Should I do? No, I don't. I don't need to do that. Let's get to electrical. I, I know to do the electrical things. So, all right, here we go. Everybody's here. We should be safe. We blog damp. What the hell is a blog damp? Okay, let's go. This is easy, and let's go. Oh, these these take a long time. Look at that, guys. CPU utilization sometimes goes to 0%. Oh, no! Unicorn guy died. Who is the imposter? Oh, my God! 16 frames per second in Among Us. Guys, this is terrible. The flashbacks are real, guys. No, I don't want this. <laughs> 640 by 480, lowest settings, it's CSGO. Alright, here we go. Start counting the FPS. Oh no! Okay, alright, that's gonna happen a lot. Better get used to it, right? Jesus Christ. This is exactly why, uh, back when I had to play with these graphics, I decided to play CS Source instead of CSGO, because it's just... It is not doable, obviously. It is actually faster than a G100 in this game. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to get the AFK guy. All right, all right. I'm not that bad with low FPS, okay? It's still... Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! He lost to me. He lost to a guy playing with 16 FPS and tons of micro stuttering issues. Oh my gosh, how bad must you be, dude? I know they're behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. He's here. Come on. No, I headshotted him. So close. So close. Averages are probably going to go up. No. Come on. How are you not low HP? It's not the same guy. It was not the same guy. <gasps> AFK guy. Yes. There we go. This is perfect. So stuttery. It's so terrible. That was my kill as well. Ah, they were just—they just keep killing my kills. 
What? Yes. No. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to see how many I killed so far. Maybe three? Is that it? I'm not the worst person in the server, at least, guys. Ah, uh, got him! Got him! All right, we're doing this. But yeah, guys, it is like way worse than the GeForce 210 that we tested uh, in the Counter-Strike franchise a couple of weeks ago, I believe. Check that out if you haven't already. It's pretty fun. Uh, it, it I, I was actually capable of doing something because we could get 30 FPS on average in this game. Oh, look at that. We actually... <laughs> what? I, I killed two people. It was a double kill. Yeah, get wrecked, another one. Okay, ooh, no, no, oh boy. Wait, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the hell? Oh. Let's try out CS Source this time around at 800 by 600 using the low settings. All right, that's more like it. Okay, we can actually play this game absolutely fine. That's amazing. <laughs> it's so much better, guys. If you find yourselves stuck with something like this, I, I really suggest you play some CS Source. Let's go. Grenade. <gasps> I killed one. I got one. Okay. M249. Here we go. Come on, people. Oh, boy. Headshot. Come on. <laughs> All right. We're doing this, kind of. I remember this gun so well. We used to call it the Skedur because it looks like a hairdryer. I oh, there is one of them. There we go, nice. All right, so this is actually surprising. I thought this was gonna be a worse experience here in CS Source, honestly, guys. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's very playable. And this is like a, a 64 player server. All right, oh, okay, <laughs> three bullets there. Okay, we got this. Oh yes, oh yes. It is playable, it is nice and smooth. Is that flash? Yes, it is. <laughs> For the Call of Duty title, I chose Modern Warfare 2 at 800 by 600 using the lowest settings. This is a very easy to run game. This is nice. Aside from the FOV, the FOV is absolutely terrible. Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. Can we actually do something here? Or are we always gonna get killed? <laughs> I like that you can actually choose the aspect ratio to be at 16 by 9. Um, and stay at 800 by 600 resolution. That helps these games a lot, in my opinion. I would love to see the, that uh, with other GPU games. Gosh, I can't do anything. This chaos, guys. I, I honestly thought we'd be here forever finding a match of Modern Warfare 2. But no, we're here playing with a lot of people. This is nice. I haven't killed anybody yet. Oh my god. Oh, right, wait, 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 wait. Randomly shooting there. Okay, finally got a first kill. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I just need to be careful. Oh my. Oh no, no, not from behind. What are you doing there? Let's go, Martin Nvidia. I'm with you. Let's go, buddy. We can do this. God damn, Famas. I hate this gun so much. <laughs> damn it. Oh, I got him. I actually got him. Okay. Good. Ah! There we go, another one down. Double kill. Great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Our averages are now below 60. All right, another one. You know what? For integrated motherboard graphics, being able to actually play a AAA title from 2008 is not terrible, is it, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> What's terrible is me playing it, but yeah. Team Fortress 2 is next, 800 by 600 using low settings. I thought this was gonna go better than this. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me just get some health back. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm the blue team, that's right. <laughs> so stupid. I have a theory, guys. Maybe playing with these integrated graphics <gasps> makes you stupider. Stup yes. I'm just gonna follow this heavy, okay? Not even gonna attempt that jump, even though I am a scout. Uh, oh my, oh, we're screwed now. All right, come on, we got this, we got this heavy. Oh my god, I, I can't, I can't aim for it. Oh, oh, we got one, we got one. Mission complete, guys. T-51 
Team Fortress 2 is playable-ish. Ark Survival Evolved is next, playing at 640 by 480 if you can actually read that, using the lowest settings, lowest resolution scale as well. Oh my god, it looks so bad because of the resolution scale. And it performs terribly, of course. I was definitely expecting this, obviously. It's Ark after all. I think, oh my god, yeah, the FOV is causing me nausea, guys. Not the low FPS, I am used to that, but this FOV must be like three, <laughs> four, maybe four, like our FPS. <laughs> oh my God. I guess if you want to see some dinosaurs, well, you can probably see them. It's possible. I'm trying to find them though, but yeah, it's kind of hard. I can't believe that the only thing I want to do in Ark Survival Evolved is find a freaking dinosaur, which they're usually everywhere and I can't. Oh no, we're approaching a forest area and it's starting to drop our FPS even further. Even the sound is starting to cut out, guys. Oh my god. No. 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 We're not gonna do this anymore. I'm so sorry. I was gonna say, well, at least you can see some dinosaurs, but you can't. <laughs> what the heck? Skyrim is up next, and we're playing this at 800 by 600. ATI rating 3000. So beautiful right there. Uh, and it actually defaulted to medium settings at 1080p, which I found super stupid. But hey, I, I set everything manually to the lowest, as you can see. Let's go. No, I don't. I, I just run. Just just run away, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Holy crap. No, this is... It's not good. What the hell was that with the shadows now? Okay, I, I don't know, guys. We need to get Roach. Come over. Or not. Maybe we should move on to the next game, actually. <laughs> oh, yes. The object view distance is just so damn low. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is supposed to be... A house or a stable with walls. Oh my, what is happening? Okay, I, I don't care. Let's go, Roach. What the hell was that animation? Damn, guys. I think this GPU lacks some of the things necessary to run some of the things in this game. If you know what I mean. I know that's a very bad sentence, but hey. I just, it's messing with my brain. Okay, guys. I think I saw like... The screen flashing black. Yes, there it is. <laughs> what the actual hell? Oh my god. You should not play this game. Battlefield Bad Company 2, one of my personal favorites. 1024 by 768 using the lowest settings and DirectX 9 API as well. It's terrible. 10 FPS. It's exactly the same experience as I had back in 2009. Uh, or 2010 when this game launched. I bought it on PC and I had a really slow laptop with a GeForce 103M and uh, it was only good for these FPS. I actually played the entire campaign with that laptop at like 20 FPS or so. Wait, 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 can we do this guys? Can we actually, where, where the heck is he? Where'd he go? That was so weird. The bad thing is the the RPG takes half of the screen, so I can't really see properly. Oh boy. Wait, who was shooting at me? Maybe in there? I don't know. I'm really confused at the moment. Just gonna run for it. Okay. I think we're actually helping our team because we're not dying. So we're not taking tickets away. I know there's a guy there, by the way. Also, this is, in fact, worse than what we got with the G100. I think that one was good for, like, 15 to 20 FPS. And this, even looking at the sky, well, it gets 23 there, but <laughs> it's it's really bad. All right, let's help our team do something. Yeah, did you see that? We actually caused an explosion. 4 FPS. Damn crazy how bad it is this is minecraft windows 10 edition of the game not java because that one is way more intensive and we're using the 720p resolution in the desktop so it's actually at 720p here and we're using the high settings and will you look at that it's almost as smooth as like among us actually it's smoother than among us um, unless you count the frame times because it's micro stuttering all over the place if you lock the fps to 30 <laughs> if it did get 30 all of the time it would stay like that and it would get a, a smooth frame time graph 
Uh, but no, it, it is actually dropping from 30 in the many areas, like forest areas. What a shame! Into the lower 20s. This is Minecraft. I'm gonna lower everything here. Turn all of these things off. Please, let me. Thank you. It's lagging, dude. It's lagging here. Should we keep the, the chunks on 10? I mean, yeah, why not? 720p low now. All right, we went from 22 frames to almost 50. That's a good improvement there. Still drops into the 30s. It looks really bad now. Like, the lighting is awful, but at least it is above 30 all of the time. You can actually play the game like this. So do I like it when it's unlocked? No, not really. It's a micro stuttering mess. You can definitely notice that. Damn it, am I gonna die? <laughs> but if you lock it, it's gonna be fine and you can actually play Minecraft. Not the Java edition, by the way. Don't try that out. All right, I'm just gonna die now over here. Yes, because my life is just awful at this moment, guys, so. Let's just contemplate the calmness of the river here. Yes. I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> well, it's Dota 2 and it's absolutely terrible from what I can tell. I did not expect it to be that bad, honestly. 640 by 480 using the lowest settings and the game render quality or the resolution scale is actually set to the minimum, which is 40%. 40% of 480p is 192p resolution. That's what we're working with right now. And we're getting very high FPS looking at this beautiful image of uh, the, the Queen of Pain, you know, but inside of the game, it's not going to be beautiful whatsoever. Ah. It's a little bit of a team fight and it's at 19. Holy crap, it drops from 20 like this. You can't even see things properly, honestly. I think this is actually unplayable because of the visuals. And the performance is also not there, of course. But if it was getting these frames at 1080p, maybe you could play like this. It's actually performing better than the G100 in Dota 2, not gonna lie. Left for Dead 2 at 640x480. Oh, two times MSA, that's why it was so bad. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's still pretty much the same. <laughs> How? Oh my gosh, it's terrible still. Four left for Ed too, you know, this is a very easy game to run these days. And it might actually drop from 30 at times. Look at that. We're already dropping into the 30s, especially inside of bushes. And yes, 20s are here, the 20s. The sad thing is, I actually played this game like this, sort of, back in the days. I remember getting, like, even less FPS than these. What is happening? Oh, damn it. There, there's a tank, right? There's a tank somewhere. Come on, people. Come on, people. No, 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 no. All right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop running after me. Go get the others. Why are you doing this? Well, I guess it's playable. It doesn't really drop that much. Stop shooting me! And finally, GTA 5. We're playing at 800 by 600 in DirectX 10 using the lowest settings. I disabled the shadows in the config files, by the way. And over on the advanced graphics, we're using 50% render scaling or um, resolution scaling. So we're playing at 400 by 300 res. And the G100 got like 18 FPS, I believe, at these settings on average. Oh! Okay, and it is deja vu time because it's pretty much the same. Actually, no, it's way worse than the G100, I think, guys. Oh my, okay. <laughs> now this is the worst GTA 5 experience that I've ever seen. And <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, all right, here we go. The things I have to do just to drive this car. Oh boy, and I'm already wrecking it. I can, can I get out, please? My Michael, Michael, you <laughs> please. Okay, all right. 10 FPS. This is absolute madness. I mean, this. I I was expecting a little bit better, honestly. We're getting single digits at times, and we're not even in an intensive area yet, guys. It's crazy bad. Well, we're we're gonna get used to this. I can't. I can't. I can't avoid. 
uh, hitting things with my car, guys. I am so sorry. Please, I just want the 710 back or even like a 610. A 610 can get 30 plus FPS at these settings. I believe that even at 800 by 600, you don't need to drop it that far. Oh my gosh. People, it's not me. It's the game. I am so sorry for running over all of you. <laughs> I think it's the first time I hit this wall. <laughs> this is probably a contender for the GTA franchise testing this week, guys, actually. Because the, the older titles will probably be great on it. Or not. <laughs> I thought it was gonna drop more. But it is really bad, okay? I was saying it's not too bad, but it is. Uh, Jacqueline. Don't like to see Jacqueline here. I'm, I'm just gonna try to find Jack. Why isn't he here today, guys? I just want to... To stop it this is really painful this is torture for your eyes and mine as well you know i have a headache i actually do at this point get out <laughs> so it drops to seven <laughs> inside of bushes <laughs> but we gotta kill bob of course do i have a weapon yes i do i just i really want to make sure bob is dead so there we go jack i'm coming hello finally my life is complete now, guys. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. I am so happy to see you. Like, looking at the sky, guys. We're getting 14 and 13 at times. This is the absolute worst thing that I've ever seen in GTA 5, guys. By far. G100 got, like, almost double the FPS. That's crazy. It's finally conclusion time, and do I recommend... <laughs> No, I'm not gonna ask that question. That's stupid. <laughs> you know what? I am actually impressed that we could play some games and I could have fun in like Counter-Strike Source, for example. It was a great experience, not gonna lie. And in... Um, that's about it, yes. I don't think it was good in any other game. <laughs> If you're still watching, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I, I mean, I really thank you. I'm not sure how you can do it, how you can sit through 20-something minutes of this insanity. But yeah, you made it. You deserve like a, a gold medal or something like that. Yes. So sorry, by the way. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one very soon. I will be testing that FX8350 in a future video, so stay tuned in for that. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.